guys, what's up? How's it going? My name is Samantha, and I am the Boho Witch here on YouTube and Artsy Mouse over on Instagram. If this is your first time visiting my channel and you're interested in making some magical crafts, watching witchy unboxings, or learning aspects of the craft itself, then go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss out on another video. In today's video, we will be making an infused oil of Aphrodite. Why Aphrodite, you say? Well, because Aphrodite is the lady of pleasure, love, and lust, and that is exactly the type of energies we are looking to extract for this oil. This oil can be used as a massage oil, lubricant, or magical anointing oil. For this project, the herbs you're going to need are going to be Damiana and Red Rose. Other tools you need are going to be a jar and a scale to measure out the herbs and a carrier oil of your choice that is safe for topical or internal use. For my recipe, I'm going to be using sunflower oil, but you could use grapeseed oil or almond oil if you like. Heck, if all you have around is olive oil, you can use that too. But be careful because it does damage latex, so if you're going to be using this as a lubricant, be mindful of that. The recipe we are following today is from my monthly subscription box, Apothecary at Home. This recipe was from their October box. I'll go ahead and leave a link up top if you're curious and want to check that out. So to start off this project, we are going to measure out 4 grams of Damiana. Damiana is most famous for its aphrodisiac properties, but also is known to uplift and strengthen the immune system, with a particular benefit to those who are tired or depressed. Now that you've measured them all out, go ahead and grind up your herbs to increase their surface area. If you have an old coffee grinder or food processor at home, you can totally use that, but try not to powder your herbs too much. Next, we are going to measure out 12 grams total of our rose petals. Our recipe calls for one part Damiana and three parts rose. This is why we did four grams Damiana and 12 grams rose. Go ahead and grind up the rose petals as well. Now, from my previous projects, I know that my mortar and pestle is horrible for roses, and so I am just using some scissors and doing it that way. An electric grinder would really come in handy for this part. So now that we have all of our herbs in our jar, we are going to add in our carrier oil. Pour in your oil till it rises about an inch or so above the herbs. Screw your lid on tightly and then give it a really good shake. Store your oil in a sunny, warm windowsill for about two to three weeks. Take some time out of each day to shake your jar and infuse your intent into it, whatever that intent may be. You can also make a makeshift double boiler and infuse it on the stovetop for a few hours until the oil becomes aromatic. Like I mentioned earlier, this oil can be used as a massage oil, lubricant, or a magical anointing oil for anointing candles or anything like that. If you have any questions or comments for me, definitely do not hesitate. Go ahead and pop them down below in the comment section. I hope you guys enjoyed your time with me today and making this little project. I know I had fun. I've been waiting to do this one for a while now. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And definitely let me know if you guys plan on making this in the future. I'm definitely quite curious about it. Thank you guys for all your continued support. And as always, remember, be kind to each other. Do what you will, but harm none. All right. Bye, guys. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you.